Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Bjorn Barent, and I want to show you the ethical decision compass. Now, this is derived from um, Shapiro and Gross's book right here, which is Ethi Ethical Educational Leadership in Turbulent Times. Um, <clears throat> so this was not something they designed in the book, but it's something that I took what I learned from the book and try to visualize an ethical decision. Kind of an interesting concept, but uh, I ran with it. So the way that you would use this uh, compass is there are four points and we have ethic of critique, ethic of care, ethic of profession, and ethic of justice. And then we have these several circles, so it looks like a bullseye. So in the green here is light turbulence. Uh, the first part of the red here is moderate turbulence. Then the outer edge here is severe turbulence. And then outside the circle is extreme turbulence. And the way you would use this is as you're making a decision, you would take a line, you basically draw a line from the center of the circle here, center of the compass, you'd make it however long you would put for whatever turbulence that you're willing to work with. Now, not all turbulence is bad. Uh, sometimes it's really good. Like if you're critiquing, if your care and critique are out there, great, you're one of those high activists. <laughs> that will fight for everything. You're out there um, probably with the picket signs and everything else. Your, your care and your critique is probably quite high. So you'd have a line going from the center, going all the way out to there. If it's closer to critique, yeah, then you're very judgmental of the situation. Um, if you're not really critiquey, but you do care a lot, you might put the line closer to care. So I think a lot of people would live right around in here um, type of placement. Now, the also with this compass is you can have more than one line. Uh, you can actually have as many lines as you want. I So a lot of times with profession, um, if you, for profession, eh, keep it with the status quo. I think the profession really does well type of a deal. Uh, someone, If you are someone who is a rule follower, we're going to come in here. And here's the rule follower. Someone with a rule follower would kind of go right here. If they're following the rules and don't rock the boat, they'd be in the green. If there's someone that likes to push the limits of the rules, they might go out to extreme or moderate. Um, if there's someone who is critiquing of the rules, we can kind of change this thing over a little bit so that it's sort of going in between critique and justice. Um, if they are really following the rules for their profession in there, they can kind of go over here. So you can see where you can move this around and kind of build a um visual representation of your ethic <laughs> so once you're done and let's say let's go care here you know let's put care here so now that we've seen this um it's about how to interpret it too so if i look i am very caring and i have a lot toward the caring side and critiquing so i'm going to Probably if I'm looking at this as an ethical decision, I'm going to be very critique-ish of it, of caring and just the rules. Um, so with a line toward caring, as for my profession, it's probably less important for this decision. But you can see where you can start building a visual representation of your ethical decision in terms of the way that Shapiro and Gross kind of mention it. So. Okay, hopefully this helps and uh, thank you and never stop learning.